third question reads consider the following trees three trees are mentioned with their scientific name uh, so how many of the above are deciduous trees is the question so jackfruit mahua teak um, before discussing the uh, sources uh, for this question um, if you are if you have gone through the different standard environment books you will be familiar with the different uh, flora and fauna in, in in india and most of them are famous uh, famous trees only so jackfruit is usually found in kerala and south region which is a evergreen which has a tropical ever, evergreen climate so we can say jackfruit is not deciduous then teak is usually found in deciduous forest uh especially especially in tamil nadu andhra that kind of region um you can see teak so it uh, it is usually found in deciduous uh, forest so teak is a deciduous is a famous deciduous tree and mahua for me it is not very uh, uh, famous one i haven't read much about mahua um so if uh, maybe in your region mahua is a famous uh, tree i am not familiar sorry uh but um, if you look at the sources um, all these trees were uh, in news in multiple news and this is uh, the first link here is a link uh, to down to earth article so i will show you what that article was about um let me just take that page this is the article um so it is down to earth article it says can mahua seeds provide adivasi a reliable livelihood mahua seeds harvesting practices of the tribals are non invasive and ca- can promote conservation so this is a very important article as far as um prelims is concerned as far as mains is concerned so for uh, th- uh, this question um you should read through this question and you should be writing notes on it the livelihood uh, it is con- connected to the livelihood of adivasi people and environment conservation um economy uh, different aspects are coming in this article so this is a very important news so you should be read uh, you should make notes out of this news so you may be thinking uh, why i uh, why i am looking at down to earth website so you may be thinking if if i am going to pick up news from different different websites then every new there will be some news about everything that is coming in prelims so how can a person aspirant read through the entire websites uh, that is available in internet so that is a genuine doubt but what i am saying is i am uh, i will be focusing only on two main sources in this entire analysis video so first and primary source will be the hindu second source is down to earth which i will be looking for uh, for environment news so uh, if you are if if you want to regularly read down to earth you just go to the news section and um see you uh, you will you will see different news like this you can just go through and see if there is any important news connected to india connected to environment and if if something strikes you you can just read that news you, it won't take much time you can just go through the news like this and uh, there are in depth news also um, you can use these in depth news to prepare notes uh, on various main topics so that's uh, my suggestion uh, you should be um, um, constantly looking down to earth for good uh, articles related to environment uh, biodiversity conservation climate change all that topics you should be looking down to earth then uh, again um, as i said earlier primary source for dynamic news catching dynamic news content is the hindu only there are many other newspaper my advice to a, all the candidates is don't look for any other sources just stick to hindu and definitely if you have more time with you more time at your hand you can look at um, the science section of uh, times of india um, the business uh, line uh, for catching business news and you can look at the pib you can constantly scan pib uh, articles um, again pib is a good source to catch government programs and um, 
things connected to the government so uh, pib is a good source then you can read rajya sabha tv uh, we, uh, you, uh, sorry you can see videos connected to rajya sabha there are multiple sources you can use for um, preparing for the the dynamic current affairs content but these two should be your primary source that's my opinion so uh, the hindu and down to earth and then you if you have time read frontline magazine uh, frontline is an extension to the hindu uh, so you can do you can read frontline for some in depth analysis uh, in depth analysis of the news that usually comes in hindu only so Uh, again if you have uh, more time then only add other sources otherwise stick to these sources and prepare your mains exam prepare, uh, prepare for your mains exam in parallel so this is the first article and uh, to just show um, this mahua uh, uh, what is mahua and why is it a significant part of the tribal community in india it was there in news in other websites also just to show i have included um, mahua was in news uh, during this uh, time then um, if you see jackfruit varieties there was a news on jackfruit varieties it is it it came in the kerala section and during october 2022 so uh, some information about jackfruit was here um, the scientific name was mentioned and um, so you will get some idea on this uh, plant from this news itself so then there was also a uh, there was news regarding teak uh, trees uh, and um, so if you see um this news uh, contained information about teak and um let me just see um okay uh, it okay it, so if you see superior quality teaks from nilambur in kerala nilambur is a famous place in kerala that produces teaks and then uh, anamalai hills in tamil nadu in these two regions has teaks so again uh, this was mentioned in news you could find other news as also um, so yeah i'm just saying all these things were uh, in the news if you are not familiar if you have in capture um, got this information from your static prepar- preparation of static material so yeah uh, so that that is let me just uh, this is the news um so you could answer this question from these sources um so yeah okay you i will share these links and if you want you can read and um, see uh, see the mm, the main point i am discussing here so this was question 3 then we have question number 